I'm starting the video here. What's the plan for today? Uh, we're going out to another little backwoods lake. Uh, it's really cold out. I mean, we got negative 38 below wind chill, but uh, we're gonna brave it out. And uh, we're gonna go after some big gills, maybe some walleyes, and uh, just got a new Aquaview Micro 2 camera in, so we're looking to find some weeds where those sunfish are uh, hanging in and put some big 11 inch gills topside. Describe, the, describe to our viewers what exactly happened yesterday with all our equipment. Oh, it was a menagerie happened. Uh, first off, we got out to the lake. Um, once again, it was really cold. It was below zero wind chills. Uh, the first thing that happened is pole start pulled out on the uh, sled, the snowmobile, and uh, we couldn't get it back in. Then I broke my clutch on my auger, and then Mason's solo uh, gas line broke. Then we went to go find a new gas line at L&M, and they didn't have that in. Got out into the Tahoe after we were checking for the gas line, and the Tahoe wouldn't shift in reverse. Or drive. Or, or anything. drive anything. So we thought the transmissions was out, but ended up getting that going, and well, now we here we are today. Now we're gonna go try and break more stuff. We're gonna go break more stuff. But speed, your thoughts? Full send. Full full send with the boys. Just stay tuned. It's gonna be 11 inch kill. At least one cut today. Or at least some funny videos of stuff. Yeah, right here. Some, something. We are rolling. All right guys, so today is day two of the trip in Grand Rapids. So day one yesterday did not go too good. Uh, we caught fish, but the cold and all our crap breaking just kind of put a dampener on everything. So we didn't get a ton of camera. What is day two here? It's about negative 40 out this morning. And we woke up and we're like, screw it. We're sleeping in, we're gonna get some sleep. So it's uh, about noon right now, um, about negative, what, 30 out with the windshield. Feels like negative 40 something. So we're gonna attempt to go fishing fish another little backwoods lake. We're actually stopping in the gas station first because my tire is like pretty much flat. So the plan is to have nothing break today, but uh, we were nice enough yesterday around, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock, some guy in Ice Fishing Minnesota was nice enough to lend us his auger uh, for the, this weekend because we're up in Grand Rapids because, because both of our augers broke. So hopefully we don't break that one too, but uh, shout out to uh, Wade. Shout out to Wade for uh, letting us use his auger. So we'll catch you guys on the ice. Don't you want to shoot this real quick or no? Yeah, hold it, okay. Alright guys, we're out here on this little backwoods lake and uh, we're punching holes in this little bay area. There's uh, nice green cabbage reeds. Uh, we're actually uh, hopping around hole to hole with the new uh, Aquaview Micro 2. We're just looking down there and uh, trying to find some good weeds and find the edge. Right on the edge is where it seems like the uh, big bluegills are holding and we're finding a few here and there and some walleyes and uh we're just trying to pinpoint down right now where the big ones are going to be roaming so yeah, tell stay what tuned you, yeah what just happened there so oh uh we just had a uh, max drop down we had a pretty decent gill on screen and it was pretty awesome drop down there and the gill committed right away right on camera and boom a nice eight inch gill came up so yeah it was pretty awesome <laughs> all right see the gills Oh my gosh! Dropped the camera down and I said, Austin, get over, get over. Three huge gills sitting down there on the camera. Gets down there, drops down there, and boom, just a. Oh, that's a freaking tank. Just choked it. That is a tank. Is it just loaded down there or what? Oh, there's three big ones. There's a, one clump of weeds and there's three plate sized gills. I can see him. I said, Austin, get over here, get over here, get I over see here. You doing that? I'm like, get over here. And he drops down and one marks and boom, he just slammed it. Un freaking believable. Unbelievable. That is a giant gill. All right. That is giant. He's freezing up a little bit there. All right, so guys, I'm gonna set down the, the camera here. Water, Austin's gonna dip him in the water drink. a little bit, and we're gonna get some uh, quick pictures with him. What a giant! That is a giant. What a giant! Oh my gosh, that was exciting. I mean, that it shows how good those cameras work. I mean, I was hopping around these holes looking. We're finding schools of gills, and I hopped down in this hole, and it was one. There are three giant gills down there, and I just knew it. Drop down there, you could get one of them. So All that's right. What, all right, guys, we'll get you guys with the release here in a second and take a couple quick pictures. All right, guys, we're going to get the, get a quick measurement on this fish. Put him 
Come on there. Come on there. This one's probably going to be right around 11, we're going to guess. Ooh. Oh, he's going to be close. Oh, he's stuck. Oop. Oh, no. He's still cold enough to put him down, but... All right, where's 11, Mark? He's almost 11. Right, I don't want to put him down on there, but... Because he's going to stick, but yeah. it's almost 11. Almost 11. Just a giant gill. All right, we're going to get release him right now, guys. There he goes. Nice that job! Was awesome. That was awesome. Gosh. That was, we literally, Hunter, we literally just picked up Hunter's auger. Yeah, picked up the brand new Strike Master Lithium 40 volt. Drills holes perfectly, I gotta say that. But we're hopping around, putting the camera down, found some gills over here. I went all the way over here, put the camera down, and there's three giant gills down there. Called over and, you know, there it is. Right Didn't there. take long. All right, guys. Like I said, this is day three up in Grand Rapids, and we have been struggling with the cold temperatures, broken everything, and finally, that is our first giant gill on the ice. We've got we got two tens yesterday. Uh, we got about we only got one of them on film though because of the lens fogging up with the cold weather. But uh, hopefully, we can pull another big gill out of this little little body of water we are right here. You want to drop back down. Another one. Hey, woohoo! All right, we'll catch you guys later. Uh, we're gonna race Hunter here with the uh, Strike Master Mora hand Mora. crank and uh, he's got the new lithium 40 volt. <laughs> Picked it up today, boys. We're gonna see what happens. He's probably gonna get two to my one. But it's gonna be close. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Clear off a spot! <laughs> I'm going, he's no, putting no, his spot no. off. Hey, get the new hole started. I can't even start one. Ready? Set. Fucking blue face! What does that say? Oh. Is the hand dog really worth it, boys? It is. <laughs> I had him first. You can't put the whole pass in here. So I guess it's a 50 50 tie. We'll call it that. Sound good, Logan? Sounds good to me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's only like negative 30 with the windshield right now, so. Yeah. But uh, we're going to get set up for the night. Austin caught that big one. Uh, a little earlier, he's hiding in the shack over there because he's free freezing his ass up, freezing his butt off. Flicks <laughs> 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 Max was running in reverse earlier today. It's like it's not cutting. Hey, did you explain that uh, we went and tried this top secret lake and it didn't produce? No. Oh, yeah. No. It's it's better just to bring bring me to my parents and you guys can just come pick up later because I'm gonna I'm gonna go and they'll take me and you guys don't have to worry about Let's that. See that hand. Anyway. It is bleeding profusely, and I'm. I got duct tape in there. I'm getting sick to stomach and kind of lightheaded. So. All right. <laughs> I'm about to go take Hunter out of here. Yeah, I'll pick up all of the stuff and just get him. Yeah. Get him going. I'm gonna go take Hunter to uh, to his parents. We're, we're gonna take him to the emergency room because his right. finger is cut up very bad. I was just trying to clean some ice off my auger bl or blade, and it slipped out of my hands, and it. Ran right across my finger and sliced it pretty good. I don't know how bad, really bad it is, but it's bleeding pretty dang bad. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop at my parents' place, get washed off, checked out, and then I don't know. Maybe I have to go get stitches on her. So yeah, I'd say this really stresses the importance of uh, having people with you. Yeah, I mean, if I was out alone, I mean, I'd have to try to pack up and all that. Try place. to pack up or leave stuff out there and. No, we're just leaving with my truck right here. He's gonna drop me off and I'm gonna head head right oh, in to get gosh, attention. Boy, but. Call me. Made all alive. Made all alive. Seven stitches. Didn't hurt that bad at all. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. She could have been gone. But well, we better head out. Yeah, head, head back out to back to the apartment. It's just a short john away. Oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. And, oh, uh, New Year's, New Year's Eve, though. It is New Year's Eve. And I'm definitely gotta go take a shower and wash the crap off my finger, and it hurts. Hurts, hurts, hurts. But. 
right, we'll catch you guys later.